Hello everybody, and welcome to episode 24 of the Power World series. And I think I'm going to continue the ritual that I was practicing in the previous episode in capturing all of the bosses that I've come across prior, just to slowly cap out the 10 catches that are seemingly desired by the PAL deck for the maximum XP. So, next up is going to be the Penguin, the almighty Pengi. Pe Pengi, are you? Oh, there he is. It's coming in with the slide. It's my oh, let's get the Alpha Dread out. Ouch, 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 ouch. That only hurts a lot. I think I have ten pangolets. But I could chuck some spears at them just to find out. I think I can tank a few hits. There we go. Yeah. Spheres. We'll see if we have ten. If we don't, well, I guess I'll have to catch them too. Uh, the Alpha Dran's kinda getting wasted. Well, I don't have ten, so I'll work on them too. The dog should be able to distract the big pengi. Why, oop. Well, <laughs> I guess we're not catching that one. Whoopsie. Um, I think I should probably leave the rest to me. The pals I have might just eliminate him. He's kind of derping out against that pillar anyway. He just started standing still. Things down in this general ca ouch. Things down in this general caliber are probably best caught with the standard spheres so we don't waste resources. The percents might be low, but best to have some patience, because otherwise we're going to lose patience having to farm more resources. It's a tit-for-tat situation. Come on, man, stay in the spheres. You and me are going to be friends. I already have four of you. You're going to love all the other pen kings. One shake. Two shakes, there we go. We're making new friends. Go ahead and roll our ass back out of here. Next up, I think we'll be paying a visit to the Azarobe, which was that water-dwelling, scarf-wearing, sea serpent-looking thing. See, oh, I can fast travel without dismounting. Good. Let's go ahead and head to this bridge here. It's basically a two-day cooldown on catching these bosses. So, oh, why are you fire-breathing? Weird. Just came out aggressive, meaning all kinds of business. I should be able to just hop in the water with this, right? Huh? Oh, it looks like he swims instead of flying, which is interesting. Does that mean I shouldn't use him in this fight? That could be a thing. Yeah, that might be it. I might have to hop on something else, because he's losing stamina in the water. Let's go ahead and fly to land real quick. Right here. This should be counting as a beach. Yeah, there we go. How about this? Do we have 10 of these? 32% chance to catch. Oh, don't make it complicated. I guess we'll start working on this one too. Celery. Like celery, but from the sea. Oh yeah, we still need 10 of these. So we'll have 10 of these. Is that gonna kill? No? Good. Interesting. I shot with the crossbow and it did grayed out damage, which means that it was resistant. It makes sense. We didn't check what the Alpha Dran does. Can it be ridden as a flying mount? Duh. While fighting together, Dark Pals drop more items when defeated. So it's not him. He's not the reason why I'm doing great out damage to the Celeray. Are they just resistant to normal damage? Is that a thing? Can they do that? Let's see if I can hit this thing with a crossbow all the way from back here. Sniping time. It's like no arc to this. Come on. Right there. No? I guess it just disappears. Or I'm a bad shot. One of the two. How about this? Do we have ten of them? Where are you going, Celeray? Don't run from me. Looks like we need more of those kelpsy things, too. That's fine. We'll go ahead and fill up. Today's a XP farming kind of day. If we start to get filled up with pals, we'll just sell them to the Black Marketeer, wherever he is. Alright, this thing. You're the goal. Let's hit it with the Dragon Breath first. It's a nice long charge. Repeated hits. Not bad. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Just face tanking that, huh? I'll go ahead and dismount. Seems to be ankle high water. Yeah, this Alpha Dran thing was a pretty good uh, pal to be putting on the team. It's relatively tanky, does pretty good damage, has a good move set, and it flies quickly. It's the most important part. Alright, strange scarf serpent, accept your fate and become my friend. Look at how happy Alpha Dran is. Oh, it says he's hungry. <laughs> the, oh, the timing. Look at how happy he is and hungry, because we'll be having lunch later. And you're going to want to join us. I guarantee it. Damn, self Adran is really putting in the work. More bubbles, huh? Easy peasy, you can just walk around those. I keep missing the headshot. Maybe I should just be aiming for the body. 
Yeah, probably for the best. The damage difference for body versus headshot isn't that great. More bubbles. Sprint, sprint. Oh, it says my pal team is hungry. Maybe it's just the Alpha Dread. I can only hope so. We've got it down. A little under 300 HP. It seems like the Azerobe is a dragon type, as it's resistant to dragon damage. Uh, we should probably put the Alpha Dran away for now. Hit it one or two more times. Oh, the crossbow wasn't loaded. There we go. Spheres. 14%? Yeah, we'll be using the standard spheres for this thing. One more shot to the chest? Oh yeah, it's almost dead. 15% is gonna be our cap. 46? Yeah, that's the second shake. And it's ours. Whoa, Alpha Dran is at like 1 HP. He must be starving. Oh, he actually is. Well, we'll feed him some of this other stuff we picked up. Some bread. Would you like a baguette? I have several baguettes in my pocket. I also have some honey. I guess I could just feed that to him. There you go. It's a hungry boy. He's gonna eat everything I have. Damn, very hungry boy. I, wait, wait a second. I have grenades. Why do I have grenades? I don't know. I might have to pay a visit to the base. He'll start slowly recovering HP, but in the meantime, I'm gonna hop on the van worm. You know what? Does he have anything he can replace this spitfire ability with? It's kind of weak. Air cannon. That works for me. I don't mind the quick recharge, low damage ones. It's good for catching things. Let's catch ourselves some celery. Hmm, celery. I suppose we'll dismount and remount to get that HUD saying the appropriate moves. Air cannon, then Ignis Blast, then catch. Easy peasy. These are the last two that I should need. Oop, I accidentally murked that one. Okay, I'll look for a different one. There, off in the distance. Should be fine with what we have here. Suppose this is inadvertently becoming a PAL fluids farm. At two shakes? Yeah. All right, we'll catch this celery, check out that bandit camp, and then maybe fast travel back to base, grab some food for ourselves. Hey, quit running from me. Oh, I guess I'm catching this dire howl now. Yeah. He's almost dead. Off two hits. Not bad. After changing the left click ability on this van worm, it's now quite a bit more effective for combat. Let's take out these humans. Oh, these grenadiers. Oh, dude, <laughs> what is happening over there? Looked like something was bouncing up and down. Oh, it's the cage. It's just flickering aggressively. Well, it's- oh, gotta avoid those grenades. That just hit me for almost 500. Yikes. Ouch again. You, you gotta go. You're the grenadier. And I picked up another frag grenade. <laughs> I'll have to collect up a few of those, use them on a boss at some point. I think it's a good idea. What about the dire hells? Do I have 10 of those? No, that means we'll have to keep an eye out for more. Now, what was in this cage? A Nox? Is that what this is? But it's white. It's one of the special ones. It would appear to be a Mao. Sorry, not a Nox. A Mao Chris. You see that dire howl? Just came up and started eating this body. Neat. I'm gonna catch it. That's my body, dire howl. You can't have it. No snacks for you. Oh, here's the last celery. Right over here. You're gonna be mine. There we go. Not quite dead, but very close. That's how you want all your friends, isn't it? Two shakes, and it's ours. Free celery. Suppose we'll get these malpacas too. That is the primary focus of the episode, is farming, catching, XP. Don't run from me. It's not worth it. It's never worth it. Did we get this one? No. We're gonna. Two at a time? No, just one. Fine. Perfectly fine. What is that? What in the bronze sherry? Oh, we've seen one of these before. We'll have to get ourselves one. Well, a second one. We'll have to get ourselves to... Let's go ahead and start off with the breath. I get the feeling this is tankier than the average enemy. Yeah. Even with special typing, that didn't do enough damage to murk the thing. That should do. 15%? That's basically 100 if you have enough spheres. Hmm. <laughs> Math. Ouch. Two shakes? Yeah, we've got it. That was interesting. All right, I need to head back to the base because I lack food. It's food time. Maybe we'll check out this island to the left here once we're... Done getting some nom noms. Oh, T posing tombats. That's what we like to see, and it's already over. We've gotten a second level up, which is good. We need one more to craft that weapons workbench, which is the end game here. We've gotten another hundred wheat, I think. I believe that's what it is. Yes, this flower has been crafted, and we already have another hundred wheat on the way. So, we should take the flower that we have now, along with the berries, and start making jam filled buns. Mmm, buns. We have 150 of those, and I think, oh, but I didn't want to take all of those. After those are done, yeah, we'll wait for those to be done. But we have to cook up more baked berries. 
We'll take 250 normal berries and put them on my bar here. Let the pals and myself feed from that. Seems like the most convenient method. How's the egg over here doing? Done. Awesome. What? No, not the campfire. I guess it's standing too close to it. Old to incubate. What do we got? A mow. Well, it's not the worst thing to get. There's more common creatures it could have given us. We haven't picked up any eggs, so now we can start working through the chess here. We'll do a frozen one. We don't get very many frozen or ice type creatures. So that one's up next. 10 minutes. Oh, okay. Seems a little hot. So, okay, so based on the type of egg, it'll ask for more heat or less heat. I thought it was just universally more heat. Let's come up here and grab our hyperspheres. 36 out of 56. All right, works for me. Should be more than enough for any future endeavors. Now let's go ahead and check out what's up with this left island here, because that's where that bronze shari was. I think both times. I believe this is around the area where I also got my van worm. So there. Oh, yes, I guess it is. I just spawned into two van worms attacking me. Let's get the alpha dran out, doing alpha dran things. Also, my armor is broken. I have to head back soon. Oh, the alpha dran just murked this. Okay. How about we hop on it to keep it from killing things? We hit with the dragon breath and then we- oh, never mind, we got staggered out of it. Crossbow, there we go. Then catch the Van Worm. 33%. That's a good enough amount. Well, the other Van Worm that died dropped four bones. That's quite a rip. Maybe they're good for farming that. If you happen to need bones. If you're a bony boy. Go on. We're just gonna be doing this for the entire episode if you don't stay in that sphere. There's no winning for you, Van Worm, so... Just be caught. Yeah, let's take a peek at what else is on this island. Let's go up. What is over here to the left? I see a woolly pop. I think we've caught one of these before. If not, then we accidentally killed it. In which case, well, we'll catch them now. Let's try the breath. Yeah, and then just pull away if it gets close to dying. There we go. One crossbow bolt. There we go. Ooh, I accidentally just killed the one that was in the sphere. It came out at the wrong time. Come on, buddy, just stay in. Your XP to me. Come on, 53% to your mind. Hooray. What's over here? Frozen egg? Well, I guess we have another one. Hooray for us. And what's over here? A flack. I think I have 10 of these. We'll see, though. Let's hit it with the generic. Oh, never mind. Accidental headshot from the back, too. Yikes. Firing squad. Oh, there's more flacks over here. Is that an egg? No, it's a sphere. I guess I'll take that, too. I, I said I'll take that. Sometimes it just doesn't detect it. Oh, is that a van worm? It is. There's quite a few of them. See one behind him that's clearly coming to aggress on us. And then another one off in the distance. I think my crossbow is going to be broken soon. I have to fix this. Well, there's another van worm. Just seven more to go. This one has a pretty good chance. Just stay it, silly goose. If you are higher level than the pals, I think that that should also increase your catch rates. It'd probably be for the best. Ooh, dungeon to mark this on the map. I can just pick up this mega sphere here. Gimme. There you go. Definitely mark this on the map. The more dungeons we know of, the better. Put a little Bane monster icon on the map there. And pick a fight with this thing. Dragon breath? Yeah. There we go. You're gonna have to come down to me, pal. No, just gonna go halfway, land on the edge of the cliff. Fine. I can make do. Just come up to you. Bars. Good thing you can throw spheres and such while on the back of a mount. Two shakes and it's ours. Good boy. Smart van worm. What is that? Is that a cow? Mozzarina. Hey, mozzarina. Let's catch this thing. Try the breath and just pull away when it gets close to dead. Oh, that's enough. Okay, that should do. This thing isn't even fighting back. It's just continuing to graze like I'm not attacking it. Like its life isn't in danger somehow. Cocky. Let's go ahead and catch this woolly pop too. Might as well. These things can really tank that, huh? Very tanky creatures. So that cotton candy serves as a buffer between them and the real world. Their mind is off in surface land. Is that milk? There's milk here, but my inventory's full. Wait, my inventory's full? Is this the first time that's happened? I think it is. We'll just have to feed some food to, well, my things and me. Starting with the cotton candy. I suppose feeding the alpha dran should take priority. And the rest of this can get discarded. Random bits of stone and ore, goodbye. And we'll take the milk. Mmm, milky. <laughs> Give me the milk. Give me the there we go. I think I'm just too high up on the Alpha Dren to pick most things up. Anything else going on on this unusual island over here? I guess there's another flag. We could catch this thing. Let's hit it with the breath and just pull away when it's almost dead. Oh, there you go. Okay, I overdid it. Whoopsie. Uh, two more van worms. Might as well. Where are you guys going? Don't go over the water. Seems like a bad idea for you. Yep, come on down to our level. And now I'm gonna catch you and work on this one. 
Come on, buddy. Just stay in the sphere. There's a way for all of us to be happy. At the end of this little interaction, that's for you to stay in the sphere. You'll get a berry exclusive diet for the rest of your life. It'll be great. It's like you'll never go hungry, but all you can ever eat is bowtie pasta. It's another bronchari. You will be mine, bronchari. What are you doing in the water anyway? Let's hit it with a breath. Can it reach from this far? Yeah, kind of. <laughs> now it's gonna swim its way to us. Poor, poor bronchari. See if we can hit it one more time. There we go. Now we start catching. Don't run from me. It's not worth it. Doesn't work for any of them. Some of them succeed in accidentally dying by running into other stuff, but that's the closest thing you're gonna get to a win. Ooh, hey, Mazzarina. And then there's more in the distance, and a camp there with a monkey in a cage. I think that's a monkey. Yeah, it's a monkey. Not interested. I am, however, interested in the Mazzarina. Brrrr. These breath attacks are really satisfying. I really think these cows just don't fight back. <laughs> they just start grazing aggressively when you attack them. You know, let's clear the humans out before they become a problem. Start with the breath. Yeah. Ooh, hot, hot breath. Straight from the Alpha Dran mouth. Tasty. Oh, grenades coming my way. Come on, bud, just stay dead. There you go. Can I breathe through this? No, not at all. It just stops existing once it makes contact with the wood. I suppose that works. Well, there we go. One less human in the world. Pal supremacy. Bada bing, bada boom. Syndicate down. I'm not going to collect the tansy. He can just stay there for all I care. Bars. And we'll collect these two mozzarinas. See if we can breath them both at the same time if I aim just right between them. No, I just hit neither of them. I see. Fine, fine. We'll just do it the old school way. One at a time. But not really. Two at a time. Hey, don't break out. What are you going to do? Break out and then fight back with all of your grazing might? You're not exactly intimidating anyone with all that grass eating that you're doing. Though, I'm freezing to death. Let me go ahead and get my torch out. Mmm, it's torch flavor. What's over here? What is oh, it's a chest. I see. Thought that that was some kind of tiny purple glowy creature. It's not. What is this? Dire Howl? Ooh, don't mind if I do. I almost killed it in a single attack. That wouldn't have been good. Nah, bud. Let's go right back to sleep, but inside the sphere this time. There you go. He's learning. Anything else going on here? A Melpaca? I suppose we still need ten of them. Ooh, a green sphere. Free stuff. Ooh, well, I just tried to swing my torch at that thing. Where's my crossbow? There it is. If well, I don't hit it in the face, I should be able to sneak one attack in. There we go. Back to the torch. Still freezing to death. Stay in there. You know, this Alpha Dran is a little too cute to be running around and murdering things like this. But hey, beggars, choosers, etc., etc. Come on, stay in the sphere. You're either going to serve in the ranch, or you're going to serve as... Wolf for my next couch. Sounds like he wanted the ranch, considering he stayed in the sphere. Two more cows, don't mind if I do. Have some dragon breath. Mmm, tasty dragon breath. One crossbow shot? I said one, one, where's the crossbow? There it is, it's not even loaded. Oh, you actually attacked. Imagine that, they have attacks. Let's go ahead and breath at this one. Oh, hope the other one stays away. Don't run into the breath. Don't be stupid now. There we go. Now we can just sit here and try to catch them. After we find our torch, there it is. I really gotta replace my heat resistant armor with cold resistant armor. That would be for the best. I don't see us finding the desert anytime soon. Hey, there we go. More cows. Sweeze. Sweeze and sweep us. The heck? It's a large batch of them too. You know what? Sure, we'll catch a few. Oh crap, these things are only level five. Can I just sphere them? No, what about the crossbow? The crossbow work? But we can catch the sweeper. The crossbow will work. Awesome. Ooh. Maybe. If they're awake. Maybe. Try to wake them up. Oh, I can run into them. Perfect. Should start <laughs> spearing wildly now. <laughs> I forgot that the size of the creature could potentially implicate that you can run into things to deal damage. Which is amazing. I suppose we got a little batch of wool too, but that's not really our objective. Back to the torch. Still freezing to death here. I think that was also my final level up. Couldn't make our way to that quick travel point that we saw just a moment ago. Yeah, this one. Is that a boss? It is. We will have to check that out after we deal with these things. What is a cognito? Let's try fire breath first. Don't kill it, don't kill it. Okay, that was close. Sphere. Hit this thing with a dragon breath. Or a dragon cannon, whatever. Oh, we have a cognito. It looks like a little... Plague Doctor. What is it? SCP-049? I, I don't remember. Wait, is this thing invisible? It's invisible. 
What the? Excuse me. Since when? How does anything... What? No. You can't do that. <laughs> That's illegal. Technical foul. 40 yard line. Where did it drop? Venom glands? Oh, I guess I don't really have to worry about that. My inventory is probably full again. Yep. Full of random animal meats and baguettes. Use those? I guess we'll take the venom glands. And if we look on the map, the boss that we'll be taking on, likely in the next episode, is a bushy meat. Now we'll check out the rest of this island. For now, though, we gotta head back. We'll head to the main base. I think we cleared out most of the bosses that we've already defeated, which means their timer has been reset. Apply our level up here, and try to empty our inventory. We have a whole lot of stuff. Well, we'll crack this egg open, too. Why not? What kind of frozen ice creatures can we get? A swee. So what we just caught wasn't normal creatures, they're ice creatures. Pretty neat. Pretty neat indeed. I don't have any more eggs in my inventory. I have to clear some stuff out. We'll put in a grass type egg. Verdant. That'll be the next creature that we mess with. Might be a good idea to consolidate a lot of this into other bigger chests like metal ones. Eventually. Certainly. For now, however, let's put this egg away and oh, it looks like we got tomato seeds. Hmm. I wonder when you unlock the tomato plantation. I guess we'll find that out later on. But this has been episode 24 of the Power World series. Thank you all for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day. And I will see you in the next episode. But for now, goodbye.